We all have cameras now in our pockets in the form of cell phones. What effect does this have on professional photography? WCBI's Jory Talley looks at how everything from phones to Facebook could be making it harder for some. Cameras capture everything, and technology advancements make it possible for everyone to have one, which doesn't flash a good picture for professional photogs. Everybody that has an iPhone or a digital camera thinks they're a photographer. And the expectations of what clients are wanting now are so much less because they see all this stuff on Instagram and Facebook. Going from film days to all digital means new challenges. They've affected the industry because now instead of people going out and buying point and shoot cameras or something like that, they're actually using their cameras and their phones to get just as good a quality and they, they're always with them. Everyone always having a camera with them is why the professional photography industry has shrunk 70 percent in the last decade. If you buy this equipment, it costs so much, then it automatically makes you a great photographer. Kind of be the same aspect if you went and bought a great high dollar piano, would you be able to play like a someone that would be doing a concert and it's not the equipment as so much as the talent of the person using it. Not only is the industry slowing down, social media is taking away money and credit from photographers. Take the photograph, make a, a picture of it and put it on Facebook or Instagram and uh, it's gone I and mean, we don't get anything for it. Even though there are copyright laws, Daryl Ivey, a professional photographer for the last 40 years, says no one enforces or follows them, and to keep up business, new angles have to be taken. We try to offer new products and do things that other people can't do, and um, but I would say within five years there'll be no more professional photographers anywhere. In Tupelo, Jory Talley, WCBI News.